welcome to my channel but today I am doing it for IGTV today I wanted to talk about shoes because we are ramping up to the Montreal burlesque festival October 17 18 and 19 I wanted to give you a little insight of what's going on behind the scene when we're making costumes. So basically, as a burlesque performer, each costume has its dedicated pair of shoes. Today I'm wearing my pink outfit, I like to, can to call it my candy outfit, and with that particular outfit I have the pink shoes. So let me open one of my favorite closets. Shoes number one. Those shoes go with this costume as you can see. And we have the bows and the rhinestones. Rhinestone on the sole, rhinestone on the shoes, rhinestone on the heel, and rhinestones inside. Inside, I don't know if you could see them, but they're everywhere because there's never enough rhinestone. So this one matches this costume. They're very heavy, it's really not comfortable to dance in those, but who cares if it's not comfortable? Burlesque is not about being comfortable anyway. I wouldn't be sent in a corset if I was looking for comfort. Another of uh, my favorite pair is this one. So these ones are very special because they're already metallic. Again, in the sole, on the heel. But I wanted to let that metallic, metallic uh, look shine through. But on the other side, it's all glammed out. You can see all the rhinestones. Oh. So <laughs> to glue all those rhinestones, to glue all those rhinestones, it takes a lot of glue and a lot of time. So instead of counting in hours the amount of time that I spend gluing each and every one of those stones, one by one, I counted on Netflix shows. This one is one. Netflix show or two Netflix show <laughs> so I don't know it's a, it's a labor of love so these are the gold ones I love those they're very famous in the burlesque world and um, the Betsy Johnson blue um, blue collection because the sole is very sturdy it's a tea strap and it's holding it's holding really well um, on the foot when you're dancing and there's no platform so when there's no platform we tend to be a little bit more freer on stage uh, the platform tends to make us walk a little bit more artificially so depending on the choreography you want to do you're going to go for four or not for platform another pair of betsy johnson this one in silver this time um, and if you can look at this one, I love them because I actually wrote my name on it. You can see Scarlet. I don't know, nobody can read this, but I know it's there and makes me happy. And then there's the red ones to go with the red costume. This one, no heel and uh, just a brand in the back um, just because, you know, you can't have all the same pair, all the same shoes looking the same, right? So this one is a platform, so I don't tend to make like all kinds of like fancy move in those shoes for safety reasons, as I explained. And another pair that I really like also, um, they were very simple beige 
uh, Kendall Jenner shoes. Uh, I don't know if she sees this video, I don't think so, but anyway, she may recognize them. And I use them for my carousel horse act because they're really high, they really hold really well on the foot and uh, I don't know, they match perfectly my costumes. My carousel horse is a completely white and silver costume with like lots of rhinestones. So voila. Little close up. I don't know if everyone can see all those details when I'm performing on stage, but um, I know they're there. And again, it makes me really happy. And as you can see, I have lots and lots and a lot more. Uh, here I have a pair of boots that was made to measure um, by a one of the probably one of the last or the last actual um, boot maker in Montreal um, and he li he's um, working at a store called um, Rosetti de Montréal um, it's made like really uh, in the old-fashioned way with a very heavy leather on the side and every button was button was made by hand and um, it's a it's it's very precious pair of boots um, I don't wear them often because um, I don't know <laughs> I want to save them uh, so I wear them only for shows the the leather is like really fragile and but they're very beautiful boots I wanted to sell them at one point and I said I'm crazy I'm not selling those and there is the classic uh, you know the red soles uh, and uh, and another pair that I like this one is untouched I bought this one as is again it's a Betsy Johnson and again like the sole is very sturdy and it's holding the foot really well so it's one of those princess pair of shoes that I really really love uh, this one is not uh, Rhinestone is just sparkles. Nevertheless, I love them. I think I have a fetish about shoes. So that's it for today. Thank you for listening. If you have questions, send me a message uh, and uh, I'll answer for sure. <laughs>